Our next guest is an Englishman. That has nothing to do with it. Stop that, Bobby. An Englishman who rejected stuffed shirts to play with stuffed characters. He is Britain's foremost ventriloquist. A scholar, quite seriously. Lecturer and author of the upcoming book. I've been lucky enough to see an advanced copy, and it is fascinating. It's titled Speaking Dolls. It's expected to be the definitive word on ventriloquism. So let's give a royal welcome now to Valentine Vox. Here he is. I can't see a dull thing around here. Come on, behave yourself. Who? Hey? Take the hat off and turn around and face the face. Right face. <laughs> How did they get in here? That's the audience. That's the audience? That's the audience. Now sit up straight. Come on up. That's right. Now smile. That's it. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do tonight is actually throw my voice onto the floor. Now, <laughs> George, you? what are you doing now? My feet smell. <laughs> Don't tell everybody your feet smell. Boy, is it a secret? <laughs> That's not the point. You don't go around telling the whole world your feet smell. No? No. What are you told? Look, I don't care what you tell them. Just don't tell them your feet smell. My feet stink? That's worse. <laughs> well, I'm trying to throw my voice. Well, go ahead. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I should now like to throw my voice. Stand back. This could be dangerous. It's not dangerous. It is when I do it. Oh, so you can throw your voice? <laughs> I've done it lots of times. All right, George. Do it on the floor. <laughs> huh? Do it on the floor. Uh, I don't feel like doing it right now. What do you mean you don't feel like doing it right now? Everybody's waiting for you to do it. You mean they're going to sit there and watch? <laughs> well, of course they're going to watch. That's the whole point of doing it. Now, if you do a good job, they'll applaud. <laughs> now, let's get this straight. You want me to do it on the floor, right? Right. And they're going to sit there and watch, right? Right. And if I do a good one, they're going to clap? <laughs> That's right. I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, if it'll make you feel any better, yeah. I'll do it as well. <laughs> you get arrested. Don't be silly. I tell you what, George, fair dues. If you do it on the floor, yeah. I'll do it on the ceiling. You're showing off again. Oh, yeah, I'm not showing off. All right, now you go for Oh, no, you don't. I ain't going to fall for that one. George, all I want you to do is to simply throw your voice on the floor. Is that all you want? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? OK, go ahead. Well, listen, I can't do it. Why not? Oh, I've got to go, you know? <coughs> yeah, we're going to go in a minute. No, you understand. I've got to go, you know, walkies. <laughs> what are you talking about? I want a wee. You mustn't say that. Who? Huh? You don't say you want a wee in front of everybody. Well, I want a wee. Will you stop it? George, when you're in company like this on television, you don't say that. You must learn to phrase things a little differently. You don't say, I want a wee. You say, I want to whisper. <laughs> Is that all you say? That's what you say. Now, just remember that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the voice throwing demonstrations. <laughs> now what? Oh, well, listen, uh, I want to whisper. Well, whisper in my ear. <laughs> I'll tell you something, it's a good thing I don't want to shout. <laughs> Say your word, boys. And now, the end is near. I got a faith. The final curtain, my friend, I'll say it clear, I'll say the case, for which I'm certain. I've lived the life that full, I traveled east and every highway, but no, much more than this, I didn't know. Yes, so a time I'm sure you knew when I'd 
it off more than I could chew. I threw it all. There was no doubt. I ate it up and I spit it out. The record shows I took the blow and did it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Valentine Box saying good night, God bless you, and we'll see you again. Well